Of all photographs of alleged UFOs, the Barra Dietigica series is considered by the Aerial Phenomena Research Organization APRO, to be one of the best and possibly the best on record. At that time however, the authenticity of the photos has been challenged, and some photo analysts suspect a hoax. The five pictures were taken by press photographer Ed Keffel, while in the company of reporter Joao Martins, according to their statements, and first published by O Cruzeiro magazine in its May 24, 1952, issue. It is claimed that the photos were actually taken on the 7th of that month, when a UFO the flying disc was allegedly spotted in the vicinity of Barra de Atijica, Brazil. The Brazilian Air Force conducted an investigation and released a positive statement that the photos were genuine. However, their report was not released to the public until 1959. It was first publicized by Fernando Clito, an official of the Bank of Brazil, through a television program called The Enigma of Space. Mr. Clito had carried on a quiet investigation of UFOs for years and received the cooperation of the Brazilian Investigation Commission on Flying Saucers, organized by the Brazilian Air Force under the command of Colonel João Adil de Oliveira. According to Mr. Clito, on May 7, 1952, João Martins and Ed Keffel went to the place called Barra de Atijica to do a routine job for their magazine. At 4.30 p.m., Martin suddenly spotted an object approaching in the air at high speed. He thought at first it was an airplane he was facing. It looked like an airplane. There was still something strange, Martins realized that the plane was flying sideways. He shouted, what the devil is that? Keffel had his roller flex at hand and Martins yelled, shoot, Keffel. Ed Keffel grabbed his loaded camera and got five pictures in about 60 seconds, thus obtaining the most sensational photographic sequence of a flying disc. In a personal statement written by Mr. Martins, which was also endorsed and co-signed by Mr. Keffel, I herewith confirm that in May 1952, I saw an unidentified aerial object at Barra de Atijica, as was published, with every detail, in the review magazine Zero Cruzeiro at the time. Together with me was the photographer reporter Ed Keffel, an exemplary professional, well succeeded and well respected for his honesty and seriousness, who obtained a series of photos of the above referred object. These photos were also published by the above mentioned review, for which both of us worked at the time. Besides being a journalist, I am also an engineer, and I also have a large experience and knowledge of meteorological, astronomical, and optical phenomena. I have experience of all known types of aircraft, and can state that the referred object cannot be framed in any natural phenomena or aircraft of my knowledge. Neither I nor Ed Keffel tried to derive any financial profit from the fact. We were at the time exclusively contracted by that review Zero Cruzeiro, and there we handed in our report and the photos, without receiving any extra bonus for either. Neither did we receive nor did we wish to any payment from anybody, either for the account or for the photos or for the appearances we were practically obliged to make on different occasions on television. I narrated the fact in free talks to military authorities and university auditoriums. I do not know what that object was and because of this, I classified it in the category of unidentified flying object, commonly called a flying saucer. The incident, besides the annoyances it entailed, contrived to call my attention on the subject as an only advantage, and consequently I have done research on the subject with the greatest detachment, both in sightings here in Brazil and abroad. As to the position of the sun and the shadows on the foliage, as seen in one of the photos of Barra de Atijica, it is easy to confirm them. One need only go there, and it is easy to reach the spot, at the same hour and time of year corresponding to the fact. This, in fact, has already been done, back in 1952, by technicians of the Brazilian Air Force, as was later divulged in detail by researcher Clito Nunes by means of TV and the press. Skeptics contend that in photo number 4, the shadows on the foliage indicate lighting from the right, while the light on the object seems to come from the left, Jim Lorenzen, director of APIO, disputes this finding by stating, to shine from the right, 
The sun would have to shine from the southwest quadrant of the sky the thing that it never does in that part of Brazil. Moreover, the growth on the hillside is complex, and generally no clear object and shadow pattern exists. The inconsistency of shadows was first noted in the literature by Donald Menzel and Lyle Boyd in their book The World of Flying Saucers in 1963, this finding was endorsed by William K. Hartmann, who later analyzed the photos for the University of Colorado UFO project. Hartmann stated, this case is presented as an example of photographs which have been described as incontrovertible evidence of flying saucers, yet which contain a simple and obvious internal inconsistency.